My name's Marita Mummery. I live at House 59 in Bagot Community and I've lived here about 20 years. I'm the Community Backbone Facilitator through the IAS funding um, through Child Australia. Yeah, in my position, uh, we do collective impact. Yeah, there's a lot of changes with the new renovations that are happening here. Everyone's pretty proud of their houses and you know what the community's starting to look like. When they found out that there was renovations going to be happening in the community, yeah, they were really happy. You know, because some still had really old floors from many years ago. Their houses hadn't been painted on the inside, and you know, just to make them feel like this is a this is a beautiful house. For the families that have moved back into the newly renovated houses, um, yeah, just seeing them saying, "Oh, I'm so happy with my house. You know, I really love my floor. Oh, my bathroom's really different now. Yeah, just seeing them happy. The benefits." from the renovations um, really well some of them have got caged in areas where they can lock their stuff in like lawnmowers, whippersnippers and stuff like that. Others have had their lounge rooms extended because it was too small. Others have had extended um, back verandas and stuff like that so yeah. Oh, what I'm seeing from the families that have moved back in they just feel like they have more pride in their house you know knowing that it's brand new, looks really clean and really nice and yeah. With the houses that have got your new security screens and stuff like that, yeah, it is a big bonus for mosquitoes because before there was a lot of problem with mosquitoes. You know, they feel more safer where the doors have, most, some of them have got deadlocks or just new doors and, you know, knowing it's safe to keep it locked. All well, the other upgrades that we've had in our community, a couple more speed bumps that have been put in. We've got bollards that actually block the accesses to the areas that, you know, are public areas. We just want them to stick to the main main roads. Some people have got driveways, you know, so, so far up their driveway. We've also got new bitumen areas that have been bitumen through the back of the community where before it used to be dirt roads and that, that caused a lot of dust going to houses that were on those roads. Since the renovations, some of the good benefits are, you know, people can have good sleeps now because they've got proper security screens. Most of them have had air cons and split systems installed while the house was getting renovated which is a big bonus because of the heat then they're really happy once they move back in their house because some of them already have their air cons already installed you know before when their air cons were installed it wasn't installed properly they just cut the mesh and put it in there themselves whereas now it's actually been professionally put in and it fits into the window properly without something holding it up well i suppose the community does feel really proud of you know these houses getting renovated because they haven't been touched for a very long time and it's just a sense of pride, you know, now that the walls are looking good, the house is looking good, they take more pride in it and they feel good. They're going to be having three months probation inspections, then, then, then they'll have support if they're not upkeeping their house or whatever. You've got TSP or someone that probably will step in and support them to, you know, show them, especially the young ones that are first time moving into their houses. I feel very proud of what's happening in this community, like living here for 20 odd years and seeing how run down the houses were and just the transformation of, you know, just even looking at the outside. Some of the new houses I haven't been into, but the ones that I have, just wow, amazing.